You can't just be going to the gym, not knowing what you're doing. Just going, I'm just looking around the gym, looking like, I don't even know what you're looking like, but you're looking confused, I can't lie. Because you can't just be working out with no energy. You're not gonna be looking like some, some idiot just doing this. You're gonna have no energy, G. So with your workout routine, this is how it should be structured. So you want to bulk up. You're tired of being small and you're tired of being skinny and being pressed around and you want to bulk up and build muscle. Well, what's this video though? After this video, you'll learn about everything when it comes to bulking. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video, man. Let's go. Currently, I weigh 90 kg. I put on over 40 kg over the past few years. I used to weigh around 50 kg when I was 15. And I'm currently 18, weighing in at around 90.8 kilograms in the morning. So I feel like I'm somewhat qualified to teach you guys how to bulk up, all right? So let's get straight into it. Number one, nutrition. What does your diet have to be like for you to bulk up properly? Well, you have to be consuming more calories than you burn. Let me, let me, let me draw a diagram or something on my iPad. A normal human, I learned this at university with my degree, right? So a normal human burns around 2,300 calories. So let's say this is the human. Going out is 2,300 calories. Now, to bulk up, the human would have to consume more than 2,300 calories. So let's say the human intakes 2,500 calories. The net difference will be 200 calories. And this, this extra 200 calories will be used to help the human bulk up or cause the human to gain weight. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to gain weight and bulk up. So we have to consume more calories than we burn. How do we find that exact number that we burn? This is how I did it. I searched up a calorie calculator. Literally go on Google and search up calorie calculator and then input all of your information, like your height, your weight and everything. And it will give you a number which is your maintenance calories, which is the normal amount of calories that you would burn. Next, add on top 300 calories to that, and that will cause you to gain weight. Use the calculator to calculate the normal amount of calories that you need to survive, and then add on 300 if you want to bulk up. All right, this is what I did, and this caused me to gain over 40 kg in terms of muscle and fat because obviously when we're bulking up we're gonna gain a little bit of fat but at the end of the day we're still gaining weight that's what we want to do we want to gain weight of course we can minimize the amount of fat that we gain on the bulk that's for another video because that's a lot of information that i have to give to you guys so i'll probably make a separate video on how to minimize fat gain on the bulk now in terms of what kind of food you want to consume Carbohydrates and protein will be your best friend. You want to be consuming carbohydrates and protein. Carbohydrates are very calorically dense. They contain a hella amount of calories per gram compared to the other macromolecules, which are protein and fat. So you want to make sure that you're consuming a lot of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates will also um, give you energy that you need to fuel your workout. Because you can't just be working out with no energy. You're not going to be looking like some, some idiot just doing this. You're going to have no energy, G. So you, so you have to make sure that you're eating carbohydrates. Because they'll give you the energy that you need to work out. Secondly, protein. What does protein do? Well, 
when we're in the gym, a lot of people get this mixed up, but, but when we're in the gym, we're not actually gaining muscle. We're actually breaking down our muscle tissue and then the protein that we consume helps to rebuild and repair the muscle tissue so that it grows stronger, so that it can lift more weight. That's what protein does. Protein helps repair muscle tissue. If you don't consume enough protein, then your muscles are not going to recover. They're not going to build back up stronger and bigger. You want to make sure that you're consuming enough protein. A general guide that has been accepted in the fitness industry is that you consume one gram of protein per body weight in, in pounds. So if I weigh 200 pounds, like I do right now, I want to be consuming at least 200 grams of protein. That will ensure that I have enough protein to, to help my muscles recover and repair. So carbohydrates and protein are your best are your best friends when it comes to bulking. Fat, fats are also good, but um, the two main macronutrients that you need are carbohydrates and protein. Number two, you need to create an effective workout routine. You can't just be going to the gym not knowing what you're doing, just going, I'm just looking around the gym, looking like, I don't even know what you're looking like, but you're looking confused, I can't lie. You can't, you can't just be looking confused. You gotta make sure that you have a, a proper workout routine that you're following. Why Spencer? Because some of you guys are gonna be like, oh Spencer, why do I need a, a workout routine? You have to make sure that you're tracking your progress. You have to make sure that you're progressing in weight, or well, not weight, but you're progressing somehow with all of the exercises that you do. If you do not have a workout routine, how are you gonna track progress? I use an app called Strong. I try to put a picture on the screen, but that's the app that I use to host my workout routine and also to help track my progress. Because you have to track progress if you want to bulk. Like you can't be mindlessly doing this, I can't lie from. So you need an effective workout routine. In this workout routine, you have to make sure that, that you're doing compound exercises. Like you can't just be doing isolation exercises. Oh, Spencer, why do I need to do compound exercises? Well, first of all, what are compound exercises? Compound exercises are exercises that engage multiple muscle groups, such as the bench press, the squat, the deadlift, and many other exercises, such as the overhead press. Like I said, compound exercises engage multiple muscle groups and this is a good thing because it, it promotes overall strength and size. Make sure you're doing your compound exercises. Isolation exercises target one muscle group. So you can use those. So with your workout routine, this is how it should be structured. You should have the compound exercises at the start since that's when you're the most strongest. And then near the end of the workout routine, you want to have the isolation exercises to target one particular muscle. So yeah, make sure that your workout routine consists of compound exercises and also isolation exercises, all right? Another thing you have to consider is, what do you actually want to achieve through this bulk? Do you want to increase your muscle size or do you want to work on strength? Because those two categories require different training styles. When you're training for strength, you're mostly going to be working in lower rep ranges, such as one to three or three to five. And the reason why you train in lower rep ranges is because those lower rep ranges help to make sure that the central nervous system is ready and primed to lift heavy weight. So when you're training for strength, you're gonna be working in the lower rep ranges. Five is probably the maximum. Now with muscle size, you want to be achieving hypertrophy now, how do you achieve hypertrophy, which is basically just increasing the muscle size? You're going to be working in the higher rep ranges, 
such as anywhere between 8 to 12. Those higher, those higher rep ranges will help break down the muscle and as we, as we all know, once we break down the muscle, the muscle will then repair and recover and build back up stronger to lift heavier weight. Which brings me on to my next point, which is you have to make sure that you're progressive overloading. What is progressive overload? Progressive overload is simply where you aim to increase the, the amount of load that your muscles are doing every time you go into the gym. I have to make a separate video on this, but progressive overload comes in many different ways. You can increase the number of sets you do per exercise. You can increase the time under tension. A lot of many different categories, which I probably have to make a different video for, because that would go. In, that's a whole nother um, universe when it comes to lifting weight. But you have to make sure that you're progressive overloading. Progressive overload is where you increase the intensity over time, and we do this because it helps you avoid a plateau in muscle size and strength. If you're just lifting the same weight every time you go into the gym, that provides no further stimulus for the muscle to grow. So you want to make sure that you're somehow increasing the intensity of your workout so that it provides your muscle with a stimulus to grow. And another thing, you have to make sure that you're training to absolute failure. Like, like you have to make sure that you can't do the last rep, that you're struggling to, to do the last rep. That ensures that your muscles are being pushed to the absolute limit. And this will help promote muscle gain in the future. To make sure that you're progressive overloading, and make sure that you're also working to absolute failure. You should not be able to do your last rep. You should be crying when you're doing your last rep. Alright? Talking about training, I actually need to go and do a workout. Today we're going to do shoulders and yeah, I'm going to go get changed and, and hit this workout, man. Let's go, let's do it.
Okay, so we've covered uh, diet and the training side of stuff, right? So what's left? Left is you have to optimize recovery. Like I've hinted a few minutes ago, you have to make sure that your muscles are recovering so that they can grow back bigger to lift heavier weight, right? And that cycle, that cycle repeats itself and eventually your muscles will get as big as mine, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know if I'm looking ripped, hopefully I am fam. You have to optimize recovery, but you have to make sure that you're getting enough sleep, at least seven hours. You have to make sure that you're drinking enough water and make sure that your muscles are staying hydrated. Because you have to remember, but the majority of your muscles are made up of water. So you have to make sure that you're drinking enough water. And also, you have to make sure that you're not training the same muscle too often. The optimal amount of times you should work out a particular muscle is two to three times a week. No more than that. If you're training one, if you're training a muscle one time a week, I can't lie, that's not good, G. Like you're leaving gains on the table. You have to, you have to be training each muscle two to three times a week if you want to see optimal muscle gains, all right? That's what I'm telling you. If you don't want to take my advice, then hey, you're screwed. I can't lie, fam. Now, the last thing that we have to go through is, is the fact that consistency is key. I've been working out for three years now. It takes a long time to build muscle, but the results are incredible. Like building muscle has, has transformed my life and I'll probably make a separate, a separate video on that on how building muscle has changed my life but it really has. You have to make sure that you're, you're sticking to a consistent workout routine, that you're following your workout routine, that you're following your diet plan, that you're doing everything on a consistent basis because consistency will build up to success. I like to think of it like consistency or like the stairs and the success is at the top. You have to walk up the stairs, man. You have, to, you have to walk up the steps. You have to walk up and be consistent and walk up every single day to reach success, man. Because if you don't, someone else will. Like, you can't buy a good physique. You actually can't buy a good physique. Along with having a good physique, you just have to make sure that your skin is on point as well. You have to make sure that your face is on point as well. Like a lot of you guys be asking me what's my skincare routine is. I can't I wanted to I wanted to gatekeep my skincare routine. 
because I can't just have all of you, man, hopping on and looking good, you know what I'm saying? That this skin care routine made me go from having, from looking like some pineapple with spots all over my face to looking smooth, looking, looking cold, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to gatekeep it, but since you guys are, are here, I might as well tell you guys, man. The skincare routine is, hey, let me grab it. Let me grab it, in fact. Let me grab The skincare routine that I use is no other than Teed Handley. Teed Handley has been incredible when it came to transforming my skin. That's why I'm proud to announce that they're the sponsor of this video. It's a very uncomplicated skincare routine for men and it has all of the right ingredients that help to transform your skin. I went from looking like some pineapple to having barely any spots or pimples on my skin. And it's all thanks to Tea Tandy. There's, it comes with an instruction, it comes with an instruction card. It basically tells you how to use the exact routine that you pick so that you make no mistakes in your skincare routine. I have the level three system. It comes with an eye, an eye cream to help reduce eye bags. And it also comes with a serum as well to make sure that my face is fully hydrated so that I'm looking my best at all times. I use the skincare routine in the morning, after the gym and at night. And the results, as you guys can see, have been incredible. If you want to enhance your skincare, and look cold, check out Titani man. Click the link down below. Use that link to get 20% of your order. That's the code of skincare routine that I use, G. If you want the code skincare, use Titani. If you grind, you'll stop teed. If you do nothing, you'll stay the same, G. Right? Stay cold, bro, and keep on grinding.